Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Coming down to feed the fish a little. I have taken to feeding them twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. Ryan! The dog is eating! Get out of there, swimmer. There's getting to be quite a pack of fish out there. <coughs> Old Red Red seems to be my helper this morning. They seem to eat a little bit better in the evening, for some reason. What's that, Red? Oh, Raniel, he started hacking these down. Before he saw the nest in there and ended up putting the nest here. The eggs are still in it, but I'm 99% sure the mother bird is no longer. No longer interested in setting the egg. Shame. Well, they're not quite done yet, Red. They're not quite ready yet. Red's pointing out we got some bananas here. I have noticed a lot more algae growth in this pond since we've cut down a bunch of these tree limbs. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning now. So only about, I don't know, 5% of the pond is in the shade. All along that far edge over there. I'm about an hour late, an hour and a half late feeding the fish. I usually feed them right around 8. No red. You can't throw it out far enough. You just end up feeding the dogs. Sorry, buddy. It's been a uh, pretty uh, low, low production week. I had hoped to have that other cage in there, right here, but things have just uh, been happening. I've had to go into town many times that I didn't think I would have to go, so I haven't gotten work here, work done here, as I would like. Excuse me, Red. But slowly but surely. There's no workers today, but I will get the net laid out and measured out for this next cage today. I've been contemplating a double net system, but I'm going to contemplate it a little bit more. I was, because I've got two sizes of net. I've got this, which is about, I don't know, half inch squares 
5 8 inch squares and then I have the much larger which is uh, over an inch square and I was thinking about putting the one that's the inch square inside of the one that's the 3 4 or the 5 8 so that uh, when they're when the, the cages are harvested only the largest fish are pulled out and it'll require less handling of the fish Are you bored, Red? Yeah, Red, because I don't have cages in all this pond. Uh, some of it does come to the bank, and the dogs do get to eat some of it. I just turned the pump on, so there'll be some water coming into this pond. I'm only going to let it come in for about an hour or two today. I am going into town soon. I'm going to get the electrical connections for that extension cord I need to make so that I can run that pump down to pump out those other, those last two pits. And we'll be done with the tilapia in the old Azola pits. Yeah, they're eating that right up. I'm feeding them one of these buckets every day. This is a two gallon bucket, I'm guessing. And it holds about I haven't even weighed it. I probably should weigh how much this bucket holds. I'm thinking it holds four or five kilos of feed. So I'm feeding them about 10 kilos of feed a day. One of the hardest things of having the fish in a pond like this and only having the one cage in it is that it's hard to guess the biomass. I just have to basically do it by eye from what uh, I've experienced before. Well, little fishies, we'll see you again in about six hours. 
eight hours. I usually feed them about 5.30. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.